Hi great people, I'm Martin Unix and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a retwist. It's gonna be a simple retwist for our beginners. So I will be using gel to do the retwist without using tools, guys. I'm gonna show you a simple way on how you can do your retwist without using tools. So like my work, comment and share to your friends. Welcome. So we are going to do a retwist by use of gel. I'm gonna show you the gel. Guys, I've already washed my locked ones. As you can see, the locked ones are sparkling clean. Now have a look all the way down ones. The locked ones are super clean. So now we are going to do a leave-in treatment as usual. After ones, I'm gonna lock in the leave-in treatment uh, by use of my, you know, essential oils that can extend the benefit for some hours. So let's kick off by using the leave-in treatment. It's the leave-in treatment, guys. For more about the products, I will put that on the description. Let's go ahead and massage the locks ones just a little bit. Have a look on how the leave-in treatment is for me lather. This is so nice guys and the leave-in treatment as well has that grip no it's not slippery it has that grip whenever you're doing your retwist you'll find it being so easy so let's lock in the moisture by use of you know the manga six oil it's a combination of several oils. But guys, we have a tutorial about the products, so you can just revisit the channel for such. I gave a tutorial on product usage. Today we will be focusing more on the retwist part. So you can spread your oil along the log swans as well. Put some on your arms. Try and sprint. Just to extend the benefit to the length of the lock strands. Then as usual, do your massage movements. Today guys, we are not using oil. Remember we had other tutorials showing how you can do a retwist without using gel. Today, we are going to use gel. On other tutorials, we used the hoils. So you can revisit the channel for such tutorials if you want to see such tutorials. So for today, you can have a look, guys. That's how our retwist looks. Very neat without using any tools. So I'm going to show you ways on how to handle hair growth whenever you come across log strands which the hair seems to be overwhelming so guys we are going to begin and uh, what am i using guys remember that we did the ravine treatment after wash then we used the manga six oil which is a combination of several oils which have uh, that essential benefits to the hair which as well goes ahead and locks in the leave-in treatment that's extending the benefit for some hours so we are going to do the retwist right away and guys this is what i usually use i'm using this locking gel have a look have a look guys have a look this is my locky gel have a look guys very nice this is the locky gel that i usually use so guys for more about the products you can reach out i'm not marketing products this is the gel that we are going to use so whenever you are doing the, the retwist just use very little amount of gel have a look very little apply on the lock strand make sure you pick all the healing goals try and twist your lock strand in a clockwise manner that way creating that loop 
on the skull surface, which prevents the lock strand from unraveling. That way, that way, guys, you don't have to twist the lock strands together. That way, separate the roots, pick very little amount of locking gel, apply. Have a look, guys. You can see it, a very little amount, in order to prevent causing build ups on the client locks over time, creating that look. Have a look, have a look, guys. Have a look how the look comes out. Very neat. So let's continue. Guys, I'm gonna show you a simple way on how you can handle the lock strands that seems to be having a longer growth, which seems to be overwhelming. So let's go ahead. It's just a quick way and a nice tutorial for our beginners who doesn't know how to use tools. That is the crochet latch and the crochet needle. So if you don't know how to use the tools, you can use your thumbs. Have a look how the line comes out. This is so nice, guys. And you can't see any uh, gel build-ups so far. So we are using minimal gel to avoid the build-ups. It's not product that makes the hair lock. What makes the hair lock is the technique. So let's go ahead. Now, have a look here. Upon reaching this part, I've just come across a log strand with overwhelming growth. How am I going to tackle this? The log strand seems to have stopped locking some time back. So you can have a look how the growth is much overwhelming. So how are we going to do, guys? Yet we are not using tools. If we could have been using tools, guys, I could have used my crochet needle to do the, the crochet technique, the instant technique, that is. Or else, we can use the crochet latch to do the hinder locks. But assuming that you don't know how to use tools at all, or else, assuming that you are not close to any tools, how can you handle this kind of growth? Guys, just use your fingers in the lock, the lock strand. That way, from the left side, center, then the right side. Have a look, have a look. Now we have just minimized the growth a little bit to catch up with the rest of the lock strands. The lock strand will hold once uh, gain the pattern of locking and uh, you know adopt the grid and on once you'll find your locks want a uh, locking so we have just you know minimized the growth so you can go ahead and pick your locking gel apply the locking gel then as usual using your palms palm roll the locks want starting from the roots like on my case then if need be you can slide your palms just along the length of the log strand towards the tip that way then creating that loop at the bottom you see which prevents the log strand from unwinding so let's go ahead another log strand with the same problem do the hinder locks guys i'm gonna do the three point turn just use your fingers we are just assuming that you don't know how to use tools so you can use your fingers the bottom then you can extend the benefit along the length of the log strand then attach your log strand at the bottom that way let's go ahead now from this level the length of the growth is not 
so much wanting so we can just go ahead as usual apply your gel twist your log strand in a clockwise manner that way guys remember to like my work comment share to your friends and join membership as a, as a way of supporting the channel that way guys Then palm roll. Remember to like my work, comment, share to your friends, and stay locked for more tutorials to come. You can as well, guys, support the channel by joining membership. Apply the locking gel, palm roll. Whenever you come across a lock strand, which seems to be with you know, a uh, lunch growth. You can interlock the lock strand a three point turn just to minimize the length of the, the growth. Then go ahead and apply your gel. Lock it as usual. Remember to use minimal product just to avoid causing product build up on your client's locks. It's a very simple method that can be adopted by our beginners. This is how the lock strands appear after doing the retwist. You don't need to twist the lock strands together, the two strand twist as you you know as you continue with the retwist process since whenever you create that loop prevents the lock strand from unwinding so let's continue just a little bit for our beginners remember that guys you just apply just little amount of gel twist the lock strand in a clockwise manner creating that loop at the bottom which now prevents the lock strand from un Ropper. You can have a look guys very simple and if you wanna you know extend the benefit of uh, palm rolling the log strand to the rest of the log strand you can do so but since I don't have uh, the split ends on my log strands I can just deal with the, the growth okay creating that loop at the bottom what makes the hair lock is the technique the technique that you use and at times if the technique is not applied properly the hair might not lock resulting to lock strands with you know larger growth you can have a look like this one here has larger growth than the rest so you can design to interlock the hair strand twice or else you can interlock the Lock strand uh, thrice, depending with the amount of growth that the lock strand has. That way, as you move on and on. Remember, guys, today we are showing how you can come up with neat retwist without using tools. Assuming that you don't know how to use tools, this is a quick way on how to maintain the lock strands for our beginners without using tools have a look here the growth is to the standard guys you don't need to interlock the lock strand the pattern is you know continually uh, locking together that way it's very simple i've just shown the the gel that i usually use Now we are about to go under the dryer just for a few minutes and uh, wh whenever you are using this kind of product that I'm using, it's not a must to go under the dryer. You can have a look how the logs looks like. There is no build ups at all, at all, at all, at all. Have a look B even before we go under the dryer, how the hair looks like. So my advice, if you don't like going under the dryer, guys, you can go home and style your hair. So, just for the sake of our beginners, let's go under the dryer just 
for a few minutes then we will do our finishing part this is the final result just to talk a little bit about the procedure and the locking process we have dried the locks while the loops are still on whenever you find some delay in one or two locks or three that is delay in the locking pattern uh, what results to the delay is that uh, at times you might find that uh, after doing the retwist the locks turned unraveled you see it unraveled as you do the styling or else during the maintenance technique whereas the rest of the locks turns remain in you know such position so whenever the lock strand is unraveled to this level it loses the the locking pattern thereby resulting to a larger growth than the normal lock strand which is already in this position you see so you need to ensure that the lower the lock strands are left in this position even if you are doing styling so that you can maintain the locking pattern. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial to the end. I hope you got something out of that simple technique about retwist procedure without using tools. Guys, like my work, comment, share to your friends, and join membership as a way of supporting the channel. So let's meet in the next tutorial.